Hi, my name is Raymond Cobol and I am a third year student from Batangas State University, Arasov, and I am a nursing student. I am here to perform some techniques about chest physiotherapy that includes the percussion, vibration, and postural drainage. For the pre-procedure assessment and monitoring, we are going to assess patient's lungs. Uh, we are going to listen for wheezing, crackles, unequal aerations, and that is not equal on either side. I'm just going to listen to the lung sound of this child now. I am going to listen both sides of this child to look for the sounds that is wheezing and crackles. Also, we are going to assess the patient's ability to place into the different postural drainage positions. If the patient has lines, tubes, IVs that may keep you from doing that, or if the patient happens to lower their oxygen level in one particular position, you would want to know that prior to starting. Also, get a, a set of baseline vital signs and a baseline pain score and make sure that the patient doesn't have any cause of pain in the chest area that would keep you from doing this procedure and also make sure to explain this procedure to the patients and family as i said parents can sometimes be a little bit concerned when they hear the noise of percussion and think it may hurting their child you basically want to take your hand and make almost c and you want to have a loose wrist uh, the way you to percuss is to go over an area and the way to percuss is to go over an area of the chest and getting the full c against the chest so that there is a pocket of air that creates a nice seal for doing the percussion I'm going to start with the anterior segments of the upper lobes the patient should start out supine in a flat position and I'm going to start with percussing above and between the, the nipple line and the clavicle line first on the right for one to two minutes and then on the other side and then I would follow that with some vibrations I would wait for the patient to exhale and vibrate you do that to three or four times and see if you're starting to get any productive secretions from the patients then you would move on to the left side and continue to do that for one to two minutes as well after finishing the anterior upper loops you want to move on to the posterior segments of the upper lobes as well if you start with using the right sides you can keep the patient mm, flat but when you come over to the left side you want to elevate the head of the bed and go ahead and percuss basically between the spine and the axilla and again using that capping motion for one to two minutes as such and at the end you want to wait for the patients to exhale and give a few good vibrations if the patients needs any sanctioning you can you could go ahead and do this at this point and before you move on to the next position the next position that you'll do is the anterior mid lung for this position you'd preferably want to have the patients in about a 10 degrees slope downwards as long as the patient can do the position you have to progress this over the nipple line that is most adjacent to you so again you want to do one to two minutes of percussion followed by some vibrations the next position you'll just have to move the patient back supine keeping his head down the 10 degrees if at all possible and now i'm going to try to do the chest pt in the anterior basis of the lower lobes i'm going to percuss below the axilla over the lower ribs followed by some upward vibrations and repeat on the left side and the last position would be the posterior basis so if the patient can tolerate you can bring the patient a little bit more prone if the patient doesn't tolerate the full turn you can do a modified turn and again you're going to do the capping on the back side be careful not to overline the spine or to go near the kidneys followed by vibration 
once you're all done with all of the positions the six positions that i showed you you will you will want to bring the patients back so fine and make an assessment of the baby and decide whether the patients needs to be sanctions or to help the patients with their calf and after placing the patients back in a supine position you want to do another overall assessment of how the patients tolerated the procedure and also sanctions any secretions that may have i'm going to go ahead and sanction his nose to see if we can get some of those secretions up as i sanction him i'm going to note the color the consistency and if there's any odor from the secretions I will also sanction inside of his mouth to see any secretions too. Once I am done sanctioning, I am sure that the patient looks well. I will do another, another assessment of lung sounds and see if there is any change from the beginning of the procedure. It is important also to monitor the patient's vital signs including the oxygen saturations, the heart rate, and the blood pressure, and the respiratory rate and effort. You will also want to assess the patient's lungs which includes listening for the presence of any wheezing and crackles and whether or not aeration is equal on both sides and the ability to place the patients in different positions finally you will want to monitor the patient's oxygenation tolerance of positions and also the cough and also the comfort during the procedures and the complications that you may observe include the oxygen desaturations, pain or injury to patients' ribs, muscles, and spine.